Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're doing super fantastic wherever you're at. I'm located in Fort Worth, Texas. And today we're going to be talking about uh, EVs, electrical vehicles that are being uh, transformed in the future to uh, RVs and for us to enjoy as RVers. We're currently in the transition from uh, ICE vehicles, internal combustion engines, uh, to electrical vehicles, EVs. And uh, transition is going to be taking place over the next 5, 10, 15 years, approximately. Uh, for many, many years, just, you know, especially if you're my age, 71, you've been uh, used to seeing ICE vehicles on the road. We remember the days when the tailpipes uh, of many uh, cars, trucks, and vehicles, you could smell it a mile away, and it was not unusual for many cities to be uh, consumed by a brown haze. I remember coming to San Jose, driving down the road from another trip to Texas and back in 19, I think it was 75 or something like that. And I was driving down the road and I, all of a sudden I came to San Jose and there it was, after I crossed over the Santa Cruz Mountains, there was a brown haze <laughs> of San Jose, California. Smog city, just like LA and many other cities across uh, the United States and around the world. So now we're suffering the uh, consequences of polluting the planet. Uh, we're having what's called global warming. I know a lot of folks, uh, my, my contemporaries in uh, Texas, don't believe in global warming. They think it's a hoax and they say, uh, I don't want you to infringe on my freedoms to drive a internal combustion engine. I feel that all this stuff about global warming is a hoax. So, but uh, if you're interested in EVs, I'm going to be talking about EVs in this video and how you could make an EV uh, into an RV. Fabulous. I just can't wait for the future of RVing with EVs. What do you think? Let's get started with the video. Here's an image of a Rivian R1T in its natural habitat, the Great American Outdoors all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Here's a shot of the chassis. Yeah, there you can see the batteries, the suspension, and the various motors. And they're quite sophisticated motors uh, nowadays that they use for these uh, electric vehicles, electric trucks, electric semis, etc., etc. Here's another skateboard chassis. A side view of a Rivian R1T in blue. What do you think? Would you like to own a Rivian R1T? I think it's an excellent vehicle if you can afford it. Typically, uh, manufacturers of trucks, vans, they chop it off after the cabin and send it off to the uh, upfitters, the RV manufacturers, and they convert it to a, a B plus, a C, or a small class A. Of course, if you wanted a big Class A, you know, 40, 45 footer, then you would need one of those Tesla semis. That would be fantastic. So what do you think? As many oldsters like me, uh, you've been seeing a lot of uh, changes over the last few years. After Over the last seven decades, I've seen a lot of changes. Uh, I remember when you used to open the window on the side, a little vent, and you can get ventilation. <laughs> I remember when they used to have a little flag that comes on the side for left turn, right turn. <laughs> Those are the old days. I remember people used to have burlap sacks, these little burlap sacks, so you could, in the front of the vehicle, so you could put water. It, the burlap was moistened, so you can cool it off, keep it cool before you uh, put it in the radiator. There's a lot of old school technologies. Internal combustion engines have been around for over 100 years. Uh, it's it's about time they um, go the way of the dinosaur and we move on to uh, EVs. Basically, taking out the engines, those gas, you know, polluting engines and just replacing them with motors, batteries, and other new technology. Until the next technology, this is what's going to be happy, happening over the next 5, 10, 15 years. Like it or not, okay? From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. This is a rather modest channel with about uh, 3,300 subscribers. Not a gigantic channel. It's nothing gigantic, uh, but you can make it a little bit better. Maybe we can move up to 3,400 or 500. 
dare to dream dare to dream and don't forget to leave your kind and friendly comments uh, regarding uh evs and evs becoming rvs etc etc below allow muchos 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 gracias and don't forget to ring the bell for future notificaciones future notifications i would appreciate it from fort worth texas where it's 108 degrees sweet gracias <laughs> Adiós. Bye-bye.